Are you thinking about buying a house on Lake Lanier? If you have researched about buying a home on the lake, you will know that a huge bonus to the home is having a dock. What is the point on living on Lake Lanier if you can't go out into your backyard and have your boat right there on your dock? One of the questions I get often is what kind of dock will the home have and what options are available? Hi, I'm Sarah Maslowski. I'm a local real estate agent here in the Northeast Metro Atlanta area and I live on Lake Lanier and specialize in helping clients buy and sell on the lake. The first thing you need to know about docks on Lake Lanier is that not every home has one. If you watch previous videos of mine, you already know this. Dock permits are issued by the Army Corps of Engineers, which manages Lake Lanier, and in 2004, they set out a shore management plan that set a limit of 10,615 permits for the lake. All of those permits are currently used up and they're not issuing any more permits whatsoever at all. What is out there is out there. You can't go to the Army Corps of Engineers and get a new permit. Let's say that you find a vacant piece of land on Lake Lanier and it does not already have a dock permit. You're just SOL. You can't get one. So it's super important that whenever you are looking for a home on Lake Lanier and if it's something that you want to have a dock permit, you need to make sure that one is already in place. Since the court is not issuing permits, like I said, you can't just put a dock on the lake unless the property you're purchasing already has a dock permit. And again, not every house for sale on the lake or even every house on the lake has a dock permit. You're going to need to confirm that a permit is included with the house and get a copy of it. We need to make sure that permit is dedicated to that property address. Now, another thing to think about is that if a house is permitted for a dock, we need to make sure to understand what kind of dock it is permitted for. And this video is going to go over all the different types of docks that you could have on Lake Lanier. Another thing that you're going to want to keep in mind is that all docks on Lake Lanier are floating docks. Since the water levels in the lake go up and down, the docks are floating and that is something that you are going to have to manage. Now, if you've watched the other videos that I have made, this is something that I talk about and it's something that I get a lot of questions for on people that are thinking about moving here and purchasing a home on the lake. They say, Sarah, I don't want to have to manage my dock. And I think I need to clarify this a little bit more. So. Whenever the lake levels rise and fall, yes, you're going to have to bring your dock in and out depending upon the water levels. And this is going to be a huge thing that you're going to want to take in consideration, especially given the rainfall that we've had in a certain amount of period. However, this is not something that you have to do every single day or every other day or even every week. Based upon the rainfall and the amount that the lake is either rising or falling, that will determine how often you need to move your dock in or out. Typically throughout the year, we have to go out and make an adjustment to our dock about every three to four weeks. However, if this is something that you do not want to do on your own, there are companies out there that will come around and manage your dock for you, and so it's something that you never have to think about. All right, let's talk about the actual kinds of docks you're gonna find on Lake Lanier. First up, and the least attractive kind of dock is a platform dock. Now, platform dock permits are no longer issued, and if you come across a property that currently has one, it is grandfathered in. You'll most likely see platform docks in the back of coves where water levels tend to be low and areas where there are a lot of other docks around. Now, platform docks are going to limit you severely to the use of the dock. Mostly these platform docks are just used for fishing and sunbathing, the occasional canoe launch. It is usually very hard to find enough space to have a boat attached to this type of dock. And of course, platform docks, they don't have any sort of boat coverage. So anything that you store out there is going to get battered by the weather. Now, the regulations for the Army Corps of Engineers state that you must have at least 50 feet between your dock and any vessel that's attached to the dock to the nearby structures, so the other docks in the cove or nearby neighbors. This is why it limits your options for a platform dock. Again, Typically you see these in really crowded areas and they're not very desirable. Platform dock homes, they just simply sell for less because they're less desirable. 
Up next are single slip docks, and these are the most common docks that you're going to see on Lake Lanier. You will see all kind of single slip docks built with various materials and various sizes. And this is something to keep in mind. The size of your dock is dependent upon what the Army Corps will allow. So the general rule of thumb is that you can always go smaller with your dock size, but you can't always go bigger. You will have to get permission from the Army Corps to make any changes to the size of your dock. And you'll see that some docks have wider depth on each side of the slip. Some slips are longer, some are shorter. You may also see varying different lengths of walkways. Some of the longer walkways were grandfathered in and are now the walkways are limited to 16 feet in length. You can't go any longer than that without permission. You'll also see that some of the decks have what is called a party deck, which is the stairs leading up to the upstairs deck above the boat slip. These are numerous on the lake. You're going to see many single slip docks that have this party deck on top. But what you will be hard pressed to find is anyone actually using this upper deck. It's a fun game that my husband and I like to play when we are cruising around. We like to see if we can actually find someone that is actually using that top deck. I don't know if it's because it's hotter up there, if because you have to climb some stairs to get up there and maybe you've already been on the lake enjoying a few beverages, but very rarely will you actually see people utilizing that space above the boat slip. So that's something to think about. You know, don't get married to the fact that you might have to have that type of dog necessarily. You can always upgrade to that or get permission from the Army Corps usually to add a dock that has that party deck on top. Another type of dock that you're going to see on the lake is a double slip dock. Now these are very special. Double slip docks will allow you to keep two boats covered and like a single slip dock these slips will allow you to install a boat hoist to keep your boat out of the water. And so this is something that you're also going to want to take into consideration. You're going to need electricity to your dock, which is a separate permit that you will need to get permission from the Army Corps. Not all docks have power ran from the house to the dock. So you can add power to the dock. And of course, like all things on the lake, anytime you're making changes to your dock, you're going to have to get permission to add this. But it is something that is a huge, Thing that you're gonna to have to spend some money on if it's not already there so if you happen to find a home that already has a dock permit already has a dock that's in good shape and it has electricity ran to the dock well you are winning the dock lotto with that one while searching for a home you may come across an enclosed boat dock or a boat house now like platform docks these are grandfathered in and of course just by taking a look at some of these around the lake you can tell they're grandfathered in. They often look very old. They're not well taken care of. These are docks that have been on the lake for many, 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 many years. The Army Corps states that they're not allowing any enclosed boat docks anymore because the Army Corps needs to ensure, quote, that the facility meets inspection requirements to prevent the unauthorized use and storage on the, the boat dock. So you can't just do anything you want to. They don't want you living on your boat dock. They wanna make sure that you have sanitary conditions they also want to make sure that they can see the shoreline beyond the dock. So obviously having an enclosed dock, you can't kind of see what's behind that boat dock. And they want to make sure that the shoreline aesthetics are there and to reduce storm and wind damage that may happen to that structure. If you see an enclosed boat dock, you can continue to have that so long as that you keep up with the overall structure and integrity of the dock. So the Army Corps states that existing permits will continue to be reissued for these grandfathered items so long as they're maintained in a usable and safe condition and if it's not a threat to any, any neighboring property that's nearby. They will continue to issue permits for that so long as it's already in place. But of course, if any of those things fall away or if it becomes an unsafe condition, they will revoke that permit and you'll have to start over with a, a traditional dock that is open on all sides. Okay, last but not least, you may be considering a home in a neighborhood on the lake that has a community dock, such as Crestwind at Lake Lanier. There are several communities on the lake that have these community docks. And typically these communities have docks that have a limited number of deeded boat slips that are either tied to the individual home or they're available for purchase directly from the HOA. So this gives you a dedicated boat slip in the community dock and most all of these community docks have day use slips which are dedicated for visitors, for like dropping off guests, picking up guests, 
or perhaps you live in the neighborhood, you don't have a deeded boat slip, but you keep your boat at the marina and you want to go pick up your boat, but then come back to the neighborhood, pick up family, friends, drinks, whatever you may need. You can use those um, day use slips, typically just for that day. They typically do not allow you to leave any boats there overnight. Some communities do though allow like a 24 hour period of time where you can leave a boat there. This is a great option if you don't wanna manage a dock, if you want the HOA to manage a dock for you, but kind of the downside for these type of community docks is that you are going to have to either get in a golf cart and drive to the community dock or get in your car and drive to the dock. This is not going to be, you know, just outside your back door and through the woods to get to your home. This is not going to be, you know, just outside your back door and a short walk down to your own personal dock. All right, so you ready to make a purchase? Curious as to how much homes on Lake Lanier cost? Make sure you check out this video to explore the different price points on Lake Lanier and what you get for your money.